the American economy is a wonderful machine. It, it really works. It's worked since 1776 and it'll continue to work, but it, we, <clears throat> we will continue to have ups and downs. Got $800 or less burning a hole in your pocket and thinking about how to make it grow in 2024? What if I told you that Warren Buffett's proven tips could help turn those $800 into much more? Yep, you heard it right. Warren Buffett, the investment maestro whose name is synonymous with financial success, has some tips that could be your golden ticket to multiplying your money. In this video, we're diving into the top five tips from the man himself, which will help you grow your wealth through safe and savvy investments in 2024. This isn't just another video. We're about to unlock strategies that could boost your financial portfolio straight from the playbook of a billionaire investor. So if you're serious about turning that $800 into something bigger, you won't want to miss a second of this video. Just a quick request, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so that you're among the first ones to watch our upcoming videos on how to make smart financial decisions. Ready to step up your investment game? Let's get started. Tip number one, invest in firms with intrinsic value. They're the businesses that you buy once and then you don't have to keep making capital investments subsequently. So you, 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 get, you do not face the problem of continuous reinvestment involving greater and greater dollars because of inflation. Warren Buffett's first golden tip for multiplying your money is to invest in firms that boast intrinsic value. But what does that really mean? It's about finding companies that offer more than just a product or service. They create and maintain customer loyalty through a unique ecosystem of offerings. Take Apple as a prime example, a company that Buffett himself has often praised and invested in. It's not just about iPhones or MacBooks, it's about being a part of the Apple universe. Once you're in, you're probably checking out Apple Music or Apple TV because they're all connected. It's like buying a key to a city full of cool stuff you didn't know you needed. Even though Apple's products cost quite some cash, people keep buying because they're hooked on the whole package. It's like once you go Apple, you rarely go back, and that's the kind of company you want to bet your money on. These guys have a magic formula that keeps customers coming back for more, making their stock a pretty sweet deal for your portfolio. Buffett's big on Apple, and it's not hard to see why. It's not just about the gadgets, it's about how these gadgets are part of a bigger picture that people love. So when you've got a chance to invest in a company like Apple or anyone else who's nailing it in their game, grab it. These are the kind of investments that can survive the ups and downs of the market. Tip number two, prefer businesses over stocks. Just think of uh, basically the utility of those products to a ecosystem that finds that instrument useful in dozens and dozens of times a day. The fact that you're missing out on 90% of the stuff doesn't really make any difference if, if the 10% you do is right. What does this mean? To put it simply, don't just chase after stocks because they're hot or trending. Look deeper and understand the business behind the stock. This is like choosing a book for its content rather than its cover. Buffett advises focusing on businesses you get, the ones you know something about. This knowledge gives you the insight into the company's future potential, not just its current or past performance. Buffett's long-term investment strategy is legendary. He believes in holding onto stocks for a decade or more, allowing the business to grow and mature. If you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes, he famously said. This approach is all about patience. If you stumble upon a business sector or company that piques your interest but you're not too familiar with it, hit the books, educate yourself, dig into their financials, and understand their business model. Tip number three, invest for long term. If, if we buy a business, we're going to hold it forever. So we're, we're going to have good years, bad years, in between years. We care a lot about the price. We do not care about the next 12 months. Warren Buffett, the investment guru, always plays the long game, and he suggests you do the same. It is also recommended to have enough cash saved up to cover about three to six months of your living expenses, just in case life throws you a curveball. Why save this cash? 
Well, the market's like a roller coaster. It has its ups and downs. If you got enough money saved for the bad times, you won't freak out and make hasty decisions with your investments every time the market takes a dip. Especially with talks about a possible recession in 2024, having that emergency fund is like having a financial life jacket. Warren Buffett suggests investing for the long term, something like seven years or more. That's enough time for the economy to do its thing, go up, go down, and hopefully go up again. Take Buffett's investment in Coca-Cola, for instance. He didn't buy those shares thinking he'd sell them in a year or two. He saw the value in holding on to them for the long term. And look how that turned out. Coca-Cola is still a big part of his portfolio decades later. Tip number four, go for stocks in the bear market. 90% of the people that buy stocks don't think of them the right way. They hope it goes up next week. <laughs> and if it's down, they feel worse. I feel better. I hope it goes down when I buy it because I'll buy more. Let's break it down. A bear market often tags along with a recession, a time when the economy isn't doing too hot. This can lead to higher interest rates, which then tend to drag down asset values, making your stock portfolio look a bit miserable. But here's where it gets interesting. Buffett, the savvy investor that he is, sees this as a shopping spree for stocks. He's a net buyer, which means he's usually scooping up more stocks than he's letting go. Think of it like this. It's like finding your dream car on sale because the dealership is trying to clear out inventory. The car hasn't lost its value, it's just priced less because of the circumstances. That's how Buffett views stocks in a bear market. It's an opportunity to grab shares of solid companies at lower prices, shares that might have been too pricey during the bull market days. Heading into 2024, if the market takes a nosedive, it could be your golden chance to invest in some quality stocks on the cheap, just like Buffett would. But here's the catch, you gotta have the guts to pick these stocks and hold on to them, and eventually you will get your reward. Tip number five, invest in what you understand. How do I value the business that Berkshire acquires? Well, the first thing I have to decide when somebody calls me is, is valuing this business within my circle of competence. My circle of competence is, you know, businesses I can understand. And when I say understand, I don't mean understand how to use a computer or not use a computer in terms of a computer company. I mean understand what the economic characteristics of the business are and what the company's really going to look like in five or 10 or 20 years. Back in 2019, after the annual Berkshire Hathaway shareholders meeting, Warren Buffett laid it out plain and simple. Invest in what you understand. Here's the deal. Diving into an industry you know absolutely nothing about is like walking blindfolded on a busy street. It's risky and you won't know what hit you if things go south. Buffett stresses the importance of staying in your lane, at least until you've upped your game and understand the field you're considering investing in. Let's take Warren Buffett's own playbook as an example. He stayed away from the tech sector for years because he admitted he didn't get it. It wasn't until he saw the value and understood the business model of companies like Apple that he decided to jump in. And it's no wonder it did pay off. So what's the takeaway here? Don't get persuaded by something trending. If you're looking at a potential investment in, let's say, cryptocurrency or NFTs, but just the thought of it feels like cracking an alien code, pump the brakes. Take your time to learn, understand, and then make an informed decision. With time and effort, what you understand can grow, and so will your investment portfolio. With these five golden tips for investment from Warren Buffett, you're all set to take those $800 and make it work for you in 2024. Smart investment is more crucial than ever in 2024 because America might be getting into a financial crisis as predicted by Ray Dalio, which we will be covering in our next video. I hope that you learned something from this video and it'll help you make the right investment in 2024. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We'll be back with another video soon.